These past couple of years have been one massive COVID test. And by that, I don't mean anything strictly scientific. It has been a test of our social sensibilities, our tendencies towards both cohesion and ostracization, and above all, a test of our morality. I think what it's revealed is that we are so much more inclined to sliding scales and double standards than we ever would have thought, or at least cared to admit. There has been a near-complete collapse of the concept that was a hallmark of 20th century social progress. My body, my rights. The erasure of individualism that's behind the collapse seems on the surface to enhance the possibility of unity. But unity can exist in more than one form, and the unity found at the end of a bayonet point, or government edict, is no stronger, I would hope, less, in fact, than the unity that comes from the respect for the uniqueness of each member of the body politic and a sharing of common values and purposes. Yes, it's a given that democracy does require a certain kind of cooperation. It requires individuals not just to think of themselves and for themselves, but to think about how their actions will affect their neighbors. I like to envision a solid democracy as a talented and seasoned choir. Not every person needs to sing exactly the same part in exactly the same way, in exactly the same pitch in order for it to work. In fact, beauty comes from a kind of harmonic discord. You can have a unity with discord built into the system. You can allow for diversity and disagreement and a multiplicity of religious views and moral views and different vocations and different ways of raising your family. You can allow for that in a democracy. And if we slide into the view where we expect people to live exactly the same way, believe exactly the same things, we have lost something of tremendous value. 